general wound considerations use disposable gloves whenever you are in contact with other people's body fluids including blood pus and saliva wash your hands and change gloves between patients assess every situation for its potential seriousness and complications consider other patient factors do they have any conditions like diabetes or are they taking any drugs example chemotherapy that may impair wound healing assess wounds for potential scarring or aesthetic problems decide your priorities and send for help learn to maintain your composure in unruly situations learn how to volunteer people in case you need assistance learn bandaging techniques carry an assortment of bandages in your first aid bag a tetanus shot may be warranted discuss this with your parents determine the seriousness of a wound and any possible damage to underlying tissue such as tendons muscles or nerves assess the potential for infection and scarring will the wound need stitches if the wound does not heal consider what may be impairing its recovery such as infection or an immune disorder symptoms that indicate infection include malodorous discharge continual bleeding increasing pain wound worsening increased levels of pus and a red line traveling from the wound towards the torso symptoms of systematic infection include fatigue lethargy fever chills and swollen lymph nodes